Does your pool's chlorine level keep dropping and you're not sure why? Do your test strips show zero free chlorine even after you've added some to your water? Hi, I'm Matt from Swim University, and when your chlorine won't stay where it should be, it can lead to algae growth, cloudy water, and an unsanitary pool. But there's actually a reason your pool's not holding chlorine, and there's a straightforward way to fix it. So here are the top six reasons that your chlorine keeps dropping. Number one is you've got high chlorine demand. This is a common culprit. If your pool has high chlorine demand, that means that there's too many contaminants in the water and your chlorine gets used up faster than you can add it. This happens usually when your pool water has been sitting untreated after heavy rainfall or when there's been a lot of use. Things like sunscreen, body oils, leaves, and organic debris can all consume chlorine. To combat high chlorine demand, you need to get rid of those contaminants, and that means skimming, brushing, and vacuuming your pool, cleaning or backwashing your filters, and treating it with a triple dose of shock. Manual vacuuming on the waste setting could also help too. Number two, your cyanuric acid levels are off. Cyanuric acid, or CYA, protects your chlorine from being destroyed by the sun's UV rays. Your CYA should be between 30 and 50 parts per million and a little higher in saltwater pools. Now, if your CYA is too low, the sun will burn up your chlorine too quickly. And if it's too high, it actually makes your chlorine less effective and it won't keep up with contaminants. You can check out our other video on cyanuric acid if you want more help lowering or raising your CYA levels. Now, number three is that you're not adding enough chlorine regularly. Sometimes the answer is simple. You're just not adding enough chlorine to keep up with demand. If you're using a chlorine floater, you wanna make sure that it has enough tablets and that the dial is set correctly. And if you're adding granules or liquid chlorine, be sure you're doing it at least once a week, if not more, especially as your pool gets a lot of use. Speaking of which, number four is that you have a lot of heavy pool use. The more people in your pool, the more contaminants your chlorine has to fight. Sweat, skin cells, hair products, and makeup all use up chlorine. After pool parties or after heavy use days, you'll need to add extra chlorine or shock your pool. Number five is that your pool has a lot of extra sunlight exposure. If you're using unstabilized chlorine like liquid chlorine or bleach and you don't have enough cyanuric acid in the water, the sun will destroy your chlorine incredibly fast. This goes back to checking your CYA levels. Number six is that you have saltwater pool issues. If you have a saltwater pool and your chlorine keeps dropping, you can check two things, your salt levels and your salt cell. Your salt should be around 3,200 parts per million and your salt cell needs to be clean and functioning properly. There could be calcium buildup inside, so check and clean it every three months. Okay, here's how to fix your low chlorine problem. All of these steps I'm about to cover are actually in the pool care handbook. So if you want all of these troubleshooting tips in one place and more help fixing your water chemistry, you can get a copy at swimu.com book or by using any of the links below. Now, step number one is you wanna clean your pool thoroughly. Remove any visible debris. You wanna brush the walls and floor and vacuum manually. Set your filter to waste so that you're not recirculating that dirty water back into your pool while you vacuum. The less organic matter in your pool, the less work your chlorine has to do. Afterward, be sure to clean and backwash your filter as well. Number two, test your water. Don't just test chlorine, you wanna test pH, alkalinity, and your cyanuric acid levels. Your pH should be between about 7.4 and 7.6, and your alkalinity between 80 and 120 parts per million. You'll add CYA later, but fix your alkalinity and pH at this stage. Now, if your CYA levels are really high, you'll need to partially drain and refill your pool. There's no other way to effectively lower your CYA, and you'll wanna do this before shocking. Number three, shock your pool. You'll need to use enough chlorine shock to break through your chlorine demand. The goal is to raise your free chlorine levels by at least 10 times your combined chlorine levels and keep it high for the next 24 hours. Now, combined chlorine is the used up chlorine in the water. You need to break that up and help reactivate your chlorine. You can figure out your combined chlorine levels by subtracting your free chlorine from your total chlorine levels. If you have high chlorine demand, triple shock your water. That means three times the normal amount. You can add the shock at night and let your pump run for at least eight hours. Calcium hypochlorite or Cal Hypo shock is the most powerful option, but if you're unsure of which kind of shock is right for your pool, be sure to check out our other videos. Number four, run your pump. Run your pump for the next 24 hours while the shock works. After shocking, increase your pump run time to at least 12 hours a day until your chlorine stabilizes. Better circulation means better chemical distribution. Number five, check and adjust your cyanuric acid. Now that you've shocked your pool, add CYA. 
If your CYA is below 30 parts per million, you can add chlorine stabilizer or switch to a stabilized chlorine like trichlor tablets or dichlor granules. Keep an eye on these levels over the next month. Finally, here are some tips on keeping your chlorine stable going forward. Shock weekly, especially during heavy use, and don't wait for problems to develop. Test your water twice a week during peak pool season so you can combat issues. Add chlorine at night when possible, especially liquid chlorine. Keep your filter clean. A dirty filter can't remove contaminants, which means your chlorine's gonna work harder. Consider a chlorinator if you're constantly struggling with chlorine levels. It provides steady, controlled chlorine distribution. And if you need more help with chlorine, check out our other videos or the pool care handbook at swimu.com book or by using any of the links below. Thanks again, and happy swimming.